Our goal is to create a class model of interesting and meaningful conceptual classes within the store sales business domain. We will continue discussing the concepts related to the use case named process sale. When identifying conceptual classes, it is better to over specify a domain class model with lots of fine grained conceptual classes rather than to under specify the model. At this stage, it's valid to have conceptual classes with no class attributes assigned to them. It's also valid to have conceptual classes which play pure behavioral roles. By contrast, in a future iteration of the problem domain design, behavioral classes can be replaced by other information role classes. Two well-known techniques exist to identify conceptual classes. First, we may consider a conceptual class category list. Second, we may identify noun phrases. Start by making list of potential candidates of conceptual classes. For example, in the sale domain, the register class represents physical, tangible objects. Store is location, off the sales. Sale and payment represent instances of transactions in store. Sales line item is one of the transaction line items. Cashier and manager are roles of the system user. Store is a container of other entities in the system. The store stocks the items for sale at the registers. Therefore, items for sale become organized as in the container. Credit payment authorization system is an external software system. Sales department is an organization. Sale or payment are also events in the system. Selling product is a process. Refund and cancellation are business policies. Product catalog itemizes the products. Receipt is a record of the sale. Another useful technique to identify conceptual classes comes from linguistic analysis. We can identify noun words in sentences. Or, we can identify noun phrases in text description of the problem domain. The nouns are considered as candidates for conceptual classes, or class attributes. The certain care must be applied when using this method. Just a mechanical noun to class mapping isn't possible, since words in natural languages are ambiguous. Nevertheless, it is another source of inspiration for a designer. The set of fully dressed use cases is an excellent description for this type of analysis. For example, the current scenario of the process sale use case can be processed in this manner, as follows. Recall basic flow scenario, a customer arrives at checkout, with goods to purchase. Cashier starts a new sale. Cashier enters item identifier. System records sale line item, and then presents item description, the price, and running total of the sale. System presents sales received. From a list of conceptual classes, and from corresponding noun phrase analysis, a list is generated of candidate conceptual classes for the business domain. The classes are Register Item Store The Sale Payment Product Catalog Product Specification Sales Line Item Cashier Customer
and manager. There is no such thing as an absolutely correct list. It is a somewhat arbitrary collection of abstractions and domain vocabulary that the modelers consider noteworthy. Nevertheless, by following the identification strategies, similar lists will be produced by different modelers.